We're in Windows 10 Hyper-V. I'm going to show you how to add a network adapter to one of your virtual machines. So you want to first of all make sure that you have a network adapter added into your virtual switch manager by clicking on the virtual switch manager. And we can see here we have a virtual switch network card called new virtual switch. So let's go ahead and cancel that. And now we're going to go over to the virtual machine itself and make sure that it's assigned. So we right click and we choose settings. And then we go and we take a look and we see, oh, no, we don't see any kind of a network adapter. Well, that's OK. Under Add Hardware at the top left, we see Network Adapter is an option. Go ahead and click Add. And then we hit the drop down from the virtual switch and choose New Virtual Switch. Go ahead and click Apply. And now we have the ability to get out to the Internet, assuming you have a DHCP server set up. Or you can statically set your IP address. You can also use this if, for some reason, your network card has gone bad and you have more than one uh, virtual switch set up. If that's the case, when you hit the drop down, you're going to see more than one virtual switch. And you can choose one of the other virtual switches and then click Apply, and you'll be back up and running again. So that's why a lot of servers and even Windows 10 computers running Hyper-V will have multiple physical network cards on them, because that way you can switch between the two or you can also uh, load balance a little bit as well. So if we click OK and we go to our other virtual machine and we go to settings and we go to network adapter, we can see that it can also use the same new virtual switch network card. So they can share that information. Now, if you have too many running on there, then you could end up filling up the pipe and you'll end up having some latency. But typically, you could have four or five virtual machines running. And as long as you're running at least Cat 5e or Cat 6 on a gigabit switch, then you should be fine as far as having that many virtual machines all sharing the same network card. So that's how you add a network card to a virtual machine in Windows 10 Hyper-V.